Hello. Hi, is this Ian? Yes. Hey, this is Douglas from the Oil Change Center. Yes. Um, you had your oil changed today? I did, yes. And I was wondering if there's any way, like, you could bring your car back tonight? Sure, what's up? Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but, um, we had the police, like, while you were in here, I don't know if you noticed that there was a police cruiser that came through and has his oil changed? No, no, that must have been just after I left. Oh, no, it was while you're here, because I, I got a little freaked out, and I hid I hid my weed inside your trunk. I, I just, uh, I, 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 I thought he was, I, I thought he was there for me. I was just a little parent, overly paranoid, I guess, and I thought he was there for me, and I hid my weed in your trunk. So, there was no police cruiser while I was there? No, he was behind you. I didn't? He was in line oh, wait, was waiting. No. no, it wasn't me. No, no. And, it, and, and it was whereabouts with, did you put it? In like the, under the carpet or something? No, yeah, in the trunk. In the trunk, just kind of in oh, the cool. corner. It wasn't a lot. It was just like a, a quarter an ounce of weed. But I thought he was there for me. Oh, he, boy. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, was um, in, he was in line behind you. Like several, a couple. No, when, when I left, there was nobody in line behind me. Yeah. What kind of car, what car did you put it in? Your car. Ian in the computer because I wrote it down. What, what what kind of car was it? I don't know. It was just a car. I don't know cars very well. I, I don't really know cars. You know, cars aren't my thing. Cars aren't my what bag. Co- what color was it? Hell if I know. I just, you know how many cars I've seen today? Like a, at least uh, uh, no, I at don't. least a hundred. No. I just wrote down your phone yeah. and your name, and it's definitely right. the car right. I put right. it into. You don't need to be a jerk right. about it. I just want my weed back. Understood, understood. Um, <clears throat> I, so, I really don't think it was me because I'm pretty sure I would have remembered um, a, a police cruiser in the line behind me, and I'm absolutely certain that that was not there at the time. Why would um, you remember that? Like, what what are you doing illegal that you would remember that? I'm not doing anything illegal. Well, how would you remember a police cruiser in line? That's stupid. It well, was, I have to remember that there was absolutely nothing in line behind me at the time. There was definitely I, one in b- line behind you. No, no, it wasn't me. You don't need to argue with me. I mean, if you want to fucking argue with me, next time I'll, I'll pour sugar in your oil, in your engine. What was your name again? Roy. Roy? And you work at the what place? And the oil chain center. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, do you believe um, me now? Do you believe now that there was a cop car behind you? So, God damn it, I, I, motherfucker. I'm, I'm absolutely fucking positive shit. there was no police car. So i tell you what I'll do, Roy. I'll walk out to my car, and I'll have a look in the trunk. Yeah, it's... And if, if I find it there, I will call you back. How about that? Well, can't you just do it on the phone with me? Because that's the only weed I have. I need my weed back. So... I would love to help you, Roy. I, I well, you're mean, being I've a fucking jerk about it. You. I want my goddamn but, weed back. God damn it. Give me my weed back. You're a fucking thief. You're going to keep my weed? You're going to pretend there wasn't a cop car behind you so you can keep my weed? I want my goddamn weed back. So, Roy, this is not going well. Obviously, you, you smoked it. I would, lo- I would love to help you. You, you don't, don't need to get offensive about this. You probably smoked you. it all already. So, Pretending what? there's not a cop car behind you. You know there was. There, no, there wasn't. It's not even there that wasn't. expensive. It's not that much weed, but it's all I had. It's so, just a quarter of an ounce. Oh, so, you need to go out there and check for my goddamn weed. I want my weed back. What's your second name, Roy? I want my weed. I'm banging on the desk. Give me my fucking weed. I want my weed. Oh. God damn it, Ian. Are you serious? <laughs> I I really get the feeling like this is some sort of hoax or something. This a is, hoax? Uh, yeah. No, eighty dollars is not a hoax. I want my goddamn weed. <laughs> Go check your trunk right now, Ian. <laughs> this is very funny. I have your um, address in my computer. So I tell you what, I'm I'm going to hang up right now. I'm going to walk to my car. It'll take me about three minutes. Run to your car. Look- Run! Run to your car! 
Roy lives in the blue house, in the nice area. Dog sits in his hair, so fuck your Jack Russell Terrier. Cause he lays out in your backyard staring at the stars. Afterwards, he siphons some gas out your car. Oh, how bizarre? Better check your credit cards. Why? He's got an electromagnet to erase them from afar. Ooh. And you get those damn boxes off your porch. Get them off. Making the whole damn neighborhood look like a trailer park. You must be new here, cause Roy's coming through here. He's an HOAOG, but you may as well be renting. At his daughter's wedding Sunday, your front yard is the venue. He may be rude, but he loves you, so don't make it weird. Say I love you too. Say it. Say I love you too. Welcome to the Snowplow Show. We are all ready to go. Royce that begins, we'll pick up the phone. And we'll tell him, hang it up, hang it up, hang it up. Welcome to the Snowplow Show. We are all ready to go. Royce that begins, we'll pick up the phone. And we'll tell him, hang it up, hang it up, hang it up. Hi everyone, this is the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and this one's brought to you by Sean L., Steve B., JT, Jamie F., and FOD87. They support the show on the Patreon, and they got to hear the two hobosodes that I did this week. I'm not bragging, though. I think I didn't do a hobosode last week, so it might have just been a makeup hobosode. Listen to those on Patreon or Spotify or Apple. I set up the Apple finally, and it works this time. I think for the whole first week it wasn't actually working and I didn't realize it. But now it's working for sure. The links are all in the show notes if you want to hear extra shows. And I think that's it for the intro today. Yay, I did the intro. The intro's done. Good job, Brad. A machine has answered. That is true. Right now we can't talk to you. Leave your name, number, and what you want to say. Thank you for calling and have a nice day. Aw, Joan. It's your neighbor. It's it's Steve. Hello, are you there? Joan? Joan? Joan, pick up the phone. Pick up, 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 pick Oh, hello? Joan? Did I run out of tape? Oh my gosh, Joan, please call me back. Okay, there she goes. My very first call today was an answering machine. Pretty much the cutest outgoing message on an answering machine I've ever heard. But she won't pick up. And I'm not even calling from a real number, so she can't call me back. Darn it. Hello? Hi, Christine. Yes? It's your neighbor, Troy. Uh, I was in your backyard last night, and I think I left my bucket of uh, rags and furniture polish so next to your you've tree. Got the wrong num- you've got the wrong number. Nobody was in my backyard last night. Oh, no, it was late last night on Old <laughs> Road. I, oh, I don't live there anymore. That's my parents' house. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, what's your parents' number? I'll call them up. <laughs> I wonder how on earth you got mine. Well, it's, the, uh, this is just the number that was on here. And you know, I was up, I was back there like uh, about 2 or 3 in the morning cleaning their trees. And I think I just left my bucket back there. I had a brain fart and just left it as I walked home. Okay. It's 991. Okay. Zero. Okay. I don't know how I made this mistake. Yeah, no, my parents bought that house for me a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, let me put them on three-way. Okay. What? She hung up. Well. Hey, parents. Uh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. I uh, I, I, I live just uh, you know a little bit, little ways down the road, on the road. I think I left a bucket. Uh, in your backyard last night? Why were you in my backyard last night? I was cleaning the trees. I was out there late last night, and oh, I guess, uh, um, you know, I was just back there cleaning the trees, and I, I just must have left my bucket back there. I don't know how I didn't notice when I was walking home. Um, what the- house are you looking for? It- I don't see, there's nothing in my backyard, not uh, unless the wind blew it away. I got a fenced it backyard. Oh, no, is a bucket full of, uh, you know, just rags and furniture polish and stuff? Uh, it's 12 oh. Road is where I was. And you were in my backyard? Yeah, just late last night. You know, like 2 in the morning. I think I left around 4. And you were here because? I was cleaning your trees. They're filthy. No, you were, no. What do you trees? Mean, what do you mean no? What do you mean trees? Your tree, you know the bark on the trees? 
yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. You know how it gets all dirty and grimy? I, I just I I do this for people around the neighborhood and I just lost my bucket. Ma'am? Ma'am? Huh? What happened? You you disappeared for a second. Oh, well you first of all you got the wrong phone number and secondly you got the wrong address. So I don't know what you're talking about. What? You don't so live it. Hey, Bye. Not, give me my bucket back, lady. I want my bucket. That's all I want, just my bucket. And you do too live at 12 Road. I got your number from Christina. She told me Christina she sold who? She told me she sold you the house a few years ago. So there, not a wrong number. And who are you? It it's Roy, I'm your neighbor. And and you're being all weird. Nothing. You're being all weird and saying you're going to keep my bucket. Bye. What do you mean bye? What a big liar telling me I have the wrong number. And luckily I didn't need her name because her daughter didn't give me her name. I'm just supposed to call her mom or something. Today I'm calling off of a list that was sent to me by Mongolian guy. Uh, oh, hello? Yes. Hey. I was calling for Susan. Um, I don't think she's available. Okay. But, uh, if you let me know what, what your name is um, and what you're calling about, I'll let her know your call. Well, do, can you just look in the backyard? Did I leave my bucket back there? It's, it's an orange Home Depot bucket. It would be right by the tree. I'm so sorry. And who are you again? Uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live down the road on Wilson Lane. Uh, Roy, you're my neighbor, and you left your bucket in my yard? Yeah, one of those bright orange buckets. It'll be easy to spot. I just wanted to make sure I left it there because uh, I, I must have just walked home without it. I don't know how I did that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Oh, my bucket. I don't know. It'd be in your backyard. I was uh, working on your trees last night. You were? I don't think so. Why? Really? Why? What do you mean you don't think so? I know where I Why was. Why would you be looking at my trees? Oh, I was polishing them. They were dirty. I was clean. Oh, have a great day. No, Bye-bye. I was cleaning them. Dang it, apparently this is the worst idea ever. I know I've tried this before, and I didn't have much luck before either, so I guess I just need to move on. But anyway, I'm calling from this list that Mongolian guy sent to me in 2020. It's actually a dog list. It's some kind of a dog club or something, but it doesn't have the dog's names or anything. It just has their breeds. He wants me to offer classes for dog fights or sell drugs to improve dogs' competition results. Oh, and he says also more poodles. Oh, that could be fun. I could tell people their dog's a registered poodle file, just like the good old days. Okay, maybe I'll do that one at least. He says this is a list from 2017, though, and I am getting a lot of wrong numbers. I mean, disconnected numbers, but that's okay. It's an old list. I took two years to get to it. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Donna. You didn't say hello. You just picked up and, and, and sat there. Who is this? Oh, it, it's, it's uh, Grega from the dog park okay uh you know we did some digging on on your dog you know well, well, i'm i'm sorry i don't understand this phone call oh say, say, from the dog who are you again the dog park park you have that poodle yes uh we did some we did some research on him ma'am and i hate to be the one to tell you this but your your dog is a registered poodle file I don't understand. <laughs> uh, well, you're you're giggling, so I think you do. I I hate to be the one to tell you this, but yep, registered poodle file, your dog. Okay, to whom am I speaking? I'm sorry, I don't. I'm still in the dark. Here. Oh, okay, my my name's Grega. I'm from the dog park. I don't know which dog park you're talking about. I told you. I don't go I, to a dog park. I told you. The I do not take. Bam! I told you the dog park. I never go to any dog park okay. or otherwise. That does not change the fact that your dog is a registered poodle file. Well, I'm getting a little annoyed about this phone call, so if this is a joke... No, no, it's no joke. Your dog is actually a registered poodle file. We did a background check on him. So, so ma'am, I, I don't know if, if we're comfortable with your dog being around the dog park like this, him, him being a registered poodle file and all. There, I did it. That lady had a poodle and a border terrier. The border terrier is cool. He's fine.
he didn't do anything wrong, but that, that poodle, he needs to go. I'm not getting a lot of answers on this list, so I'm really surprised that a poodle owner picked up. That's the last one on this page, anyway. Hello? Pam! Yes? Hey, it's it's Grega from UPS. Uh-huh. Is, is, everything huh. o- is everything okay there? I hear a lot of yelling, a lot of hollering. Oh, the TV is, is on. Is somebody angry? Are you safe? Yes. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. The TV is on. Okay. Well, it's just a lot of really aggressive yelling. I, I thought you were in danger or something. We're watching a race. I don't know who this is. Okay, ma'am, I tried to deliver a package there, and I was afraid. I, I, I ran back to my truck, and I, I drove off because I heard all the yelling inside. I, I thought I There's should... There's no yelling inside. The TV is on. I thought I should call the police or something like, oh, my God, that lady's getting yelled at and probably beaten. But thank God uh, you're. Thank God it was just telling. I'm gonna hang up right now. This is a very strange phone. Well, no, I'm call. with UPS. I was trying to deliver a package. I was just very worried for your safety because I heard that man yelling at you, and you guys arguing. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I was concerned. That's all. Some guy said this is great for me. I tried to deliver a package, and there's a lot of yelling in the house. Not only am I not expecting the package, you call it but I kept saying the TV. That's a little problem. And I keep saying, there's a lot of yellow. And I thought I should call it. And that's why you heard what I said. Ma'am, put your husband on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, put your husband on. This is man business. Uh, it doesn't even show up. Let's see. You could just ask me. I mean, I'm still here. I know. I know. I said it was a very strange phone call. Stop yelling at me, ma'am. Ma'am. Why is she hollering? Bunch of hollering people in that household. I don't even remember what I was going to do originally on that one, but I had to address the yelling. You can't just ignore that. Hello? Hi, Nancy. Yes? It's Greg. I'm, I'm with the True Green Lawn Service. We accidentally uh, sprayed your lawn. We don't have a lawn. This week. Oh, yes, you do. On a place. So I just wanted to apologize for that. Well, where, where did you spray? Uh, the front and the back. I don't have any lawn. Oh, well, you're going to have some now because we sprayed everywhere. Uh, this is uh, extra fast growing, so it's, it's going to be... What you spray it with? Uh, well, it's, it's just this uh, really advanced fertilizer. It's this industrial strength, and it uh, modifies the genetic structure of the plants. It makes it grow really fast. What part did you... I don't have any lawn. What part did you spray? Uh, just everywhere. We sprayed the rocks and the concrete and the bushes and the, you know, we just sprayed all over the place. If there, we thought it was weird that you asked for us to spray when you don't even have a lawn. So sorry about I'm, that. I'm, we, we didn't mean to. Sp- I'm really distressed about this. Why are you distressed? Because I like to keep things natural. I don't want that advanced spray. Oh well, this is this is just a, it's just a chemical. That's all. Well, I know it's a chemical. That's what doesn't make me happy. So you're just gonna have like a lot of uh, a lot of really tall grass coming up through your bushes. Well, uh, who's gonna take it out? Well, it'll look oh, nicer because be, you know people. This is gonna be a major major weeding project. People, no, it's not weeds. It's grass, ma'am. It's it's really nice grass. Sir, I have no grass. No, you will it's though. All what? You're going to have grass everywhere. It's going to come up through all that bark, all those bushes. Well, who's going to take it out? Well, don't take it out. It's going to look nice. It won't look nice. I don't want any grass. I don't have any grass. And you have now sprayed grass, apparently. So yeah. who's going to weed it? Just like a chemical grass seed stuff. Who's That's... going to weed this chemical grass stuff? Well, it's not weeding because it's grass. There's, it's not well, weed. I understand it's grass, but a weed is a plant that's not in a place where you want it. I don't have grass. I don't want grass. You have apparently sprayed grass. So who's going to get rid of it? But it's going to be so pretty, ma'am. It will like, not be pretty. If I thought it would be pretty, I would have had grass. Who's going to weed it? Ma'am, we have this guarantee that your grass will be pretty. 
I do not want grass. What about that? Don't you understand? Okay. Well, I just think you're being a little silly. Who's going to weed it? Uh, I think you will. Well, I think you may be up for a lawsuit. What? No, you no. You trespassed no. on my property. You sprayed something without permission, and now you're not willing to correct your error. Well, it's not exactly an error. I was just, you know. What some, is it then? If well, it's not an error, some, is it intentional? Some numbers on the the order got transposed, so we did your entire. So f- you should take responsibility for that. I didn't transpose the numbers. I, you did. I think Mrs. Steuben transposed them. And, and I didn't do well, it. I don't I, give a damn who transposed them. I, I know, want to know, office worker. Why aren't you going to correct your air? Ma'am, it's just grass. It's going to look so pretty. It's just grass. I don't want grass. How many times do I have to say that? 31. What times. don't you understand about that? I, I just, I, I don't now, understand. Now, here's the option, sir. One, I'm going to spread it all over uh, the listserv so that everybody knows what True Green does. Kind of like And everybody s- knows that True Green doesn't take care of responsibility for its airs then I'm probably going to file in small claims. You're going to spread it all over, kind of like we spread that uh, chemical all over your lawn. Yes, I am. So unless you decide that somebody in your firm will weed my yard for the air that you made, that's what's going to happen. But we don't do weeding, ma'am. We just spray the chemicals. I know you just spray the chemicals, but since you sprayed the chemicals in air, you damn well better get somebody to weed it. But I think it was Mrs. Steumann's error. I don't care whose air it is. It's not my air. Your company did it. You made the mistake. You're not taking responsibility for it. Wait, can you just wait and see what it looks like? Because there's going to be so much nice grass coming up around. I don't and... need to wait and see what it looks like. I have spent a lot of time eliminating grass from my yard. I don't want grass. So you're going to get out exactly. there and weed it then? Now, I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it, or else you're going to pay me damages. Well, you said you, pay, you, you spent a lot of time weeding your lawn. Yes, to get rid of the grass, yeah, which keep, is now gone, keep, or was keep, gone, keep doing until it. your company sprayed it with, apparently, some sort of grass seed. Yeah, like a super fast growing stuff is what we did. I couldn't think of anything worse. Now, why won't you take responsibility? Because that's just weird. I mean, it's grass. I think you're going to love it. Like, once you see I it. I will not love it, sir. I don't know how many times I have to say this to you, but tell me what you don't understand about this. I do not want grass. But it's good Which for the earth. Which word is not clear to you? It's good for the earth, ma'am. It's good for the earth. I, I don't give a damn whether it's good for the earth. Oh, you should. I do not want grass. The earth is very important. I want your company to weed for me. If, if, the, if you're not going to, you know what I'm going to do. Um, you're going to kill the planet without having grass. That's what. I don't know how many times I have to say this to you. I do not want grass. You apparently sprayed grass seed on my lord yard without yeah. permission, trespassing on my property without permission, and now when I give you an easy out to promise that you will send somebody to weed three times this year, you're rejecting it. Three times? That makes no sense to me. I only have to do it three times? Maybe four. Well, no, now you're changing it because you said three. Okay, three. Okay, but it's not, it'll never go away. Like it's like super, it's the super advanced chemical composition. The more you say, the madder I get. I want it to go away. Don't get mad. Don't you get that? I I, I do. I I just don't get it because, you know, like grass is nice. It it looks pretty. How can you be so incomprehensible? I've said it so many times. It's a very simple, clear English sentence. Okay. I do not want grass. You put grass on my yard. You should take responsibility. Let me check the computer here. Let me type something into the computer. We'll we'll figure things out here. Type, 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 type. Oh, oh, you know what, ma'am? It it turns out we put grass in your next-door neighbor's lawn by accident. Your yard's fine. Good, thank you. Uh, Everything's fixed now. You didn't even have to get upset. You didn't even have to make the mistake of calling me. Yeah, well, at least it's a good mistake because uh, now you don't have grass in your yard like you did a minute ago. You're too much. What do you mean I'm too much? Is that in a a good way? No, there's nothing good about this call. 
nothing. Well, no, it, it is good because, like, you don't have grass in your yard now. We didn't really put grass in your yard. You know that house next to you? just made a mistake and called me and got me all upset, right? Yeah, but... So I know, should be happy? But, I should be happy that you made this mistake? But the, I'm not happy. There, there's there's a house next door that, that's going to get... Their their yard's going to have a bunch of grass in it. Uh, um, well, that's, that's their problem. Okay. Um, can you not tell them? What? That, can, you, can you please not tell them that, that we did that by accident? I don't want to get in trouble. No, I will not. I will, I will tell them. No, don't tell them. Don't, like, do you usually talk to them? I said I will tell them. Yeah, but if you tell them, then they're, they're probably going to make us want to, they're going to want us to weed their yard, and I don't want to deal with that. Well, that's your problem, not my problem. Well, I it, didn't do it. Well, Mrs. Steumann did it. She, she put the wrong address down. I don't give a damn who did it. You made the mistake. Well, Mrs. Steumann so, made the so mistake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to terminate this telephone call. It's going no place. I shall tell my neighbors. No, don't Thank tell you. them. The, Goodbye. Don't tell the ones to the right. To the right. I had to let her off the hook, everyone. She seems so sad about her yard. I'm looking in her driveway. She's even got all these bags of bark. I mean, this is from three years ago. The image was captured on Street View, but I'm sure it looks much nicer than what I'm seeing now because she just bought all these bags of bark. She's got a big jungle for a yard. It looks kind of cool, really. It's a bunch of crazy plants and stuff. No grass. Just bark and plants. And now she's going to go next door and tattle on me just to be a jerk. Hello? Hi, Elizabeth? Yes? Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm the technician with Verizon. Uh, you know, your, okay. mo- your modem kept resetting? Yes. And we figured out the problem on that. I guess at nighttime... Uh, you know, we've been running the microphone at nighttime to listen in your house. What? And Well, uh, it turns out that uh, one of you are snoring or maybe wheezing a lot at night, and you're wheezing at 2,600 hertz, and that's resetting okay. the equipment. Okay. Number one, who authorized Verizon to wiretap me? Oh, no, I'm just the technician. I was just listening at night trying to figure out why it kept resetting. And it turns out it's because of the, um, uh, just the, the wheeziness of your snoring. Okay. There's nobody who snores in this house, and the modem is nowhere near the bedroom. Yeah, but m- maybe you're just you know, being kind of wheezy while you, while you sleep. Because you're, you're wheezing at 2600 hertz. And, th- and that's a problem, because that resets the modem. Okay. I, I, I... Do you have a dog that's wheezing next to the modem? No. Oh, okay. There's no one in that room. Yeah, we had the microphone running all night, and I went through the entire thing just to make sure. Are you sure it's this house? Uh, 40 <laughs> drive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, it's the cable modem keeps resetting, and it's because uh, you're snoring. Okay, that doesn't make any sense because I don't snore. Well, if you're asleep, you wouldn't know that you snore. I've slept with enough people who would have told me Whoa, if I ma'am, was... ma'am, ma'am, that's TMI. I don't need to know that. I'm just saying, I don't snore. My dogs don't snore. Well, they probably just tell you that you don't snore, but, you know, to be polite. Because they want to continue sleeping with you. But I, that's definitely the problem. Somebody's wheezing while, while, they, uh, while they snore. Nobody is anywhere near. They're not in that room. Are you sure it's, someone's not going in there and sleeping, sleeping in that? I am absolutely positive. Ma'am, I listen to the, the nighttime sounds of your entire home all night. And, and that's what I heard. I heard someone snoring and kind of wheezing a little bit. And they were wheezing at 2600 hertz. So, yeah, problem solved. Uh, just make sure you uh, try, well, try no, not to sleep near the, the modem. Well, the problem is not solved. <laughs> I mean, that does not solve the problem. Oh, hold on, let me turn this microphone down a little bit, because I hear you talk, and then I hear it again through the phone, because I'm still listening. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, yeah, it's turned down now. Now I, I only hear one of you. There was an echo. Okay, you know, that happens. Yeah, I, was, I don't hear it on this end, but I have in the past. Oh, you wouldn't hear it, because I was listening uh, to your modem in my other headphones. Oh. I, I was listening to your house through the microphone and the modem. I did not know my modem had a microphone. Oh, yeah, so we can troubleshoot like this. And also so they can, um, you know, keep an eye out for potential terrorists or, you know, government-hating types. Well, I assure you. So now your name's Ray? Roy, R-O-Y. Roy. Yeah. Roy. Yeah. Okay. Were you at my house, Roy? Oh, no. Nope. I've never been in there. Uh, I was just uh, troubleshooting remotely. And how loud do you say this noise is? 
Uh, well, it's it's just barely loud enough to be picked up by the modem. It's a it's a very slight wheezing in your snoring when you when you sleep. You snore and you wheeze. Okay. At twenty six hundred hertz. I do not. You know, some people can't hear at 2,600 hertz, so maybe the people that you sleep with, they just don't hear it. First of all, I'm not running a bordello here, so let's, let's be quite clear on that. Well, you, you made a point earlier that you slept with a lot of men. So I, I just, no, I did I'm, not say I slept with a lot of men. Oh. You know, you could, look, I, Roy, I, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole here. You know, you mm-hmm. can have house guests sleeping in another room They're talking well. about holes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Y- of course, yes. Right. Um, this doesn't make sense. And assuming you're right, which I don't believe that you are, then there is no fix to this, is there? Well, I, I don't see what else it could be because uh, I was listening. I heard the wheezing. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that that was the thing that was making the 2600 hertz. Um, do you smoke? Do you smoke? I mean, we're getting into a very personal area here. You just. Well, no, I already know that how many people you sleep with. Uh, you may as well just tell me that no, you smoke. No, I did not say that, Ray. Roy. Roy, whatever. It's okay. It is not. I, I think just... I made the point of having. Anyway, you know, it's none of your business. Okay. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that um, anybody should be listening in on my modem. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll listen again tonight. Like I'll no. set up. No. Well, Do not listen. No, I'll just I'll just listen in my house. I'll just listen from like nine PM to nine AM. I'll listen to uh you know, it's a condenser Roy? microphone so it picks up most of the rooms. Roy. And, yeah. Do not listen into my house. But we gotta figure out what's what's causing this twenty six hundred hertz reset. I'm pretty sure it's snor- can you just admit Let that you Let me just s- say the T V issue where it was blop- going on and off and on and off. Mm-hmm. They made me berate and made me spend money on a new T V. They made me spend money on a new router, which now I have to pay rent on every month. Oh, you shouldn't and do that. they made me upgrade. So it's cost me a fortune. You sh- that said, it has not clicked on and off again. You shouldn't pay rent on, on a modem. You should just go buy, get your own off of uh, Am- well, Amazon. Well, that's what they told me to do. I didn't have you to talk to. This is what they told me to do. Yeah, that, I don't know what, what to buy. The ones from Amazon, they don't have microphones built into them. That, that's uh, just our modem. Um, I don't know which one to get. Oh, I I don't know. Can you email me a good one? Yeah. Can I give you my email hey, or can, do you already have that? Can, can I can I send you oh yeah, I, I have it. Um And Roy, uh, what what is your email? Uh it's uh Roy Gerbil at Verizon dot net. G E R B I I L Yeah. And and um I could also send you the audio file of you snoring all night and then you'll believe me. No, because how do I know it was taken from here? Oh, because you'll be able to hear, like, before you go to sleep, you'll be able to hear just, you know, idle, you know, just uh, chit-chat around the house and dogs and all that kind of stuff. All right. Go and, ahead. Okay. I'll send you the whole the whole 12 hours, 9 p.m. No, do t- not. No, no, sir. Do not send me 12 hours. I'm not going to listen for 12 hours. Well, I did. You may send me, you may send me two or three critical minutes. That you believe shows this noise. Okay. Can you do that? Yes, with the 2600 hertz. And then the modem right. resets. Right. And then. Can you shorten it to two or three minutes? Uh, I'll try. That, that's a lot of editing, though. Can't you just snip it out? I mean, I don't know anything about what you do. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to. I have an Android phone, though, so it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, but do not listen anymore. Okay. Well, That's you know, if, there, if there's troubleshooting, we'll, we'll probably just listen into your entire no, household. No, there's no more troubleshooting. Well, did, it is not happening anymore. Because we, well, no, it, it was still happening last night. The the modem was resetting every time you hit that 2600 hertz. Uh, you know, there's like a range. Of, okay, about first 2, of all, 400. I don't believe that's true, but let's assume that it is. I'm sure there are many people in this world who snore. Is it your dog? That Australian dog thing. How do you know anything about my dogs? Oh, because we can, uh, the, the, the microphone, the software that they give us, it identifies dog breeds. So, like, you just can't by, identify dog breeds by noise? Yes, like by barks and, and whines. No, and, you can't. Because I thought that could be it, because there's this problem with the, uh, the corgis, and, and they, 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 uh, they, they 
grunt at 2600 hertz all the time. So we were able able to put a filter over corgis, a corgi filter, cor a corgi audio filter. So those aren't a problem anymore, but we still have a problem with those Australian dogs. What's your phone number, Roy? My, oh, my phone. Uh, okay, it's uh, three. Mm -hmm. One one. So, ma'am, just just admit that you snore. It's not a big deal. Like you don't. I'm not judging you for snoring. You, you just well, I snor don't snore. Okay. That's something that someone who snores would say. Okay. Please do not listen anymore. Okay, fine. I'll put on. I'll type on your account. No more listening allowed. That would be good. And if you. And you can just send in the audio, and that's fine. All right. I'm going to type in, send in 12 hours of audio. No, that's not what I said to you, Roy. Done. All right. Thank you. And uh huh. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day, and I'll, I'll email you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Okay, so on a lot of these, I mean, these are all in the northeast part of the country where everybody has Verizon, because a lot of these email addresses say verizon.net. And I thought it'd be fun to tell people we use their modem to listen in on them. Luckily, she was actually having problems, so she believed me. And apparently Verizon forced her to buy a brand new flat screen TV. The poor lady having to get a brand new flat screen TV. That's got to be rough. And a new modem. I assume you can get a new modem for Verizon.net. I think that's fiber, isn't it, out there? She's in a populated area. Can you get third-party fiber modems? I don't know how that works. You know, modems that don't have listening devices in them. And her dog breed just says Australian. It doesn't say anything else. That seemed to really freak her out when I said that. Hello. Hi, Sheila. Yes. Hey, it's it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Yes. I was calling about your poodle. What about my poodle? Uh, I did a background check on him, and I hate to tell you this, but your poodle's a registered poodle file. I mean, excuse me, I don't understand what you're saying at all. Your, your poodle, he, he's a, I did a background check on him, and he's a registered poodle file. And you, you are who? Uh, this is Roy, I'm your neighbor, I live down the street a little bit, like a few blocks. Yeah, I have a female poodle. Yeah, but he's a poodle file. She? Yeah, she's a poodle file. Look, uh... Okay. I'm, I'm um, just saying, like, uh, you might want to watch your cats around that poodle. That 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 poodle. My 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 cat and the poodle take naps together. I know that's might be the problem because your dog's a registered poodle file. Yep. Well, uh, she is a wonderful poodle. She's 14 years old, and so is the cat, and they're good buddies. So um, I think that I'll just let them. In fact, they're uh, taking a nap together right now while oh, we're watching tennis. That's cute. Wait, I just heard a cat meow, though. Do you have more than one cat? No, I have one cat. No, what? and he, he is here, and he is quiet. He is taking a nap beside Alice. He's taking a nap, so, but he meows while he sleeps? No, he's not meowing. If you hear a cat, it's somebody else's cat. It's not mine. That's weird. I don't have a cat, but yet I heard a cat well, meow that, through the phone. Well, uh, no. I have not heard a meow, and I have excellent hearing. Okay. So thank you very much for your for your research, well, but the cat's fine, and so is the dog. I, I just want to make sure you know, like, I, I personally don't care that your your dog's a registered poodle file. I still think you're a very nice person. Well, thank and, you very much. And a good neighbor. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm sure you are, too, and thank you for the call. Okay. But, I mean, have you know, some, some people might okay. be a little bit judgy about you uh, harboring a poodle file over there. I don't think so. No, most of my neighbors are really friendly, especially yeah. on this on this block. Yeah, and but do so, they do they know your dog's a registered poodle file? Uh, I don't know if they suspect that or not. But uh, she does not bark at at neighbors like the dogs that live next next door to me. So everything's fine. Roy, thank you for your call. I yeah, need to get back to the tennis match. Thank you very much. Wait, who's, who's winning the tennis game? I think she didn't know what that meant. I mean, basically, it means nothing. It's a made-up word. But she wasn't getting the joke like that previous lady. That previous lady, she got mad at me, but first she laughed, at least. I'm just kind of going through and looking for poodles right now and trying them all. And most of them aren't answering, but that lady did. And not a lot of people have poodles, it doesn't seem like. Not in this neighborhood, anyway. 
In fact, I think that was it. I'm looking through. Oh, wait, here's one. One last one left. She probably won't pick up. Hello. Hi, Wendy. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hey. Hey. Uh, I was calling about your poodle. Yes. I, I've been doing background checks on all the dogs in the neighborhood. And did you know your poodle's a registered poodle file? He's a registered poodle file. Correct. What does that mean? Uh, he likes the young dogs. I'm sorry? He likes dogs that are too young for him. Goodbye. So, ma'am, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man, come on. That was the last one. I'm sorry, everybody. I hate to tell you this, but my jokes about pedophiles are just going to have to end at this point. I know that's everyone's favorite part of the show when I make those hilarious pedophile jokes, but I guess at some point the fun just has to end. Denise speaking. Oh, hi, Denise. It's Roy. I'm, I'm the technician with Verizon. You're uh, okay. You're having those modem problems. No, I'm not. And Well, no, you were. We, we, uh, we diagnosed it, and I think it's all fixed now. You're, you're, you're I got, didn't call you guys. Well, yeah, it was automatic. Uh, we we detected it, oh. and and I I think it's all better. But we noticed your okay. um, we, you know, we can uh, detect the frequencies of your appliances in the house while we're doing the test. Yeah. And and we noticed you have a whirlpool uh, refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, we we can knock six dollars a month off your bill if if you buy one of those Kenmore's. Uh, yeah, no, I don't need to buy another brand new refrigerator, but thank you. Right, but you'll get $6 off your bill here at Verizon. $6 off my bill for a $3,000 refrigerator. Okay, ma'am, no. the problem is that you're buying $3,000 refrigerators. It doesn't have to be a, a I fancy... A refrigerator. I don't need another refrigerator to save $6 a month. Thank you, have a good okay, day. Well, it sounds like you're just buying... What the hell? Who pays $3,000 for a refrigerator? And I can't say I've purchased a refrigerator any time in the past 15 or so years, but I am nearly certain it would not be $3,000, because I ain't that fancy. Like, what is it? What does it do? Is it a smart fridge? You have reached Denise. I am oh, unable to answer. Yeah, she's not going to pick up. Denise. I really wanted to talk to her about refrigerators, because holy shit, $3,000? I think Denise just has too much money. Hi there. If you dial 5-8-9-3... Then you have reached that number you've dialed. So at the beep, leave your name, we did it. number, and a brief message, and we will call you right back. Yeah, Bye. right. Bernice, Bernice, it's it's Roy. It's your neighbor. Hello, Bernice. It's me. Hello. Pick up the phone. Bernice, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, I'm Nancy. I'm not Bernice. Uh, who are you? Wait, wait. Where's Bernice? She's in Indianapolis. Ugh. Attending a play right now. Okay. I didn't know. It says Bernice on the, the records here. I'm the technician for, for Verizon. I was calling about the modem problems. There is no modem problems. Well, not now because I just fixed them. Uh, there was not. Yes, there what was. was. The, what was the problem? Listen here, Bernice. You, you need to, you know, just calm down hey, with the wait, attitude. First of, all, first of all, first of all, my name's not Bernice. And I don't know your name. I didn't catch it. What oh, was it? it's Roy. But listen, Bernice, there's no Roy, reason to pretend. Roy, what's your last name? You don't have to pretend you're not Bernice. Roy, what's your last name? It's Zerbel, common spelling. Zerbel, where do you live? Ah, uh, that's none of your damn business, Bernice. Ah, well, it's none of your damn business for calling here either. No, I was just fixing your modem problem. That's all. There's You're welcome. There's no modem problem, There was, Roy. too. There was, there too. There was not. Yes, there, there was. There was not. Well, describe to me the symptoms. I diagnosed it myself. We got a, an automated oh! alert here at the office, here at the technician's office. For where? Where's the technician's office? That's none of your damn business, Bernice. Oh, that's not my business either. No. Who are you, who are you representing, Roy? Can, can you please uh, tell me? Who are you representing, Roy? V Verizon, stupid. I said Verizon Ver already. Hey, you call me stupid. I didn't say anything so rudely to you. Well, your attitude is very rude. you're getting out of line. You're out of you're line. You're losing your composure. Okay, Bernice. I, I told you, Roy. My name's yeah. not Bernice. I told you what my name was, but you forgot. Okay. No, I just don't That's believe okay. you. I don't believe you. I know you're Bernice. <laughs> well, I don't believe you either, Roy. Well, you don't believe that your modem what had a problem, I and I diagnosed it, 
and now you're and not even again. What were the symptoms, Roy? Well, you don't you don't even know how modems work, so you wouldn't understand. It's, Roy, it's man what was stuff. the symptoms? It's, it's man stuff. Oh, even man. Now nah, you're getting sexist. Oh yeah. Okay. Now the next thing is race. Oh. oh no, I'm not going there. Oh, That's yeah. you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You call me stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you're just What's the next? Now you're just making me want to be racist, are you? Misogynist, maybe. Okay, right, because it's a male thing. So, all right. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not being sexist. I'm just saying women don't understand modems. That's all. Oh, you are. (laughs) You are so out of line, Roy. Out of touch, maybe. Uh, Out of touch. What is it? What year is it for you? 1951. (laughs) Maybe it is. Hey, I think so, Roy. How old are you? I don't think we had modems back then, mm, though, Bernice. How old were you then? That's none of your damn business, lady. Of course it's not. <laughs> Roy, you have entertained me long enough. All right. So, um, hey, Bernice. Hey, good luck on your next call. You give that Labrador, reti- right? you give that Labrador Retriever a nice pet on the head, okay? What Labrador Retriever? Oh, you know oh, which one. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness! I love you, Bernice. Your 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 mo- modem have cameras, Roy? Oh no, microphones. It's able to re- to uh, identify microphones. dog microphones. Hey, so you're dog listening. Breeds. You're listening in on on us. Oh my goodness! Only while I was diagnosing it. That's all. Well, let me tell you. You know, if you were a man, uh, you would I know need to that modems get had law microphones. Enforcement. Hey, you're exactly right. If you are spying on us, Roy. I think I need to alert the authorities. Okay, you you alert the authorities. You say some man was listening to me through my modem. Yeah, Roy. They'll believe you. <laughs> Roy won't give his last name. <laughs> he called me stupid. I gave you my last name. I said Jerbel, common spelling. Jerbel. Oh, that's right. You See, did. making fun Jerbel. of me because I don't remember your name. I know you don't. I introduced myself, but you don't remember. Okay, Bernice, calm down. Hey. I told you, my name is not Bernice. Okay, so what, what is it? You missed it. I'll go back in the recording. Good and listen. luck with your next call, Roy. My next Hope call it works to who? Out for you better. Hmm? W- what do you mean better? Like this one was perfect. I diagnosed the problem and I fixed it. Your modem works. You're welcome. Oh my goodness! Well, let's hope your next call for router repair works better than this one. Well, this one worked perfectly, and you're ah, welcome for well, the uh, for the help. Uh, that's okay. It's your point. Can you, can of you please view. can you please just say thank you to me? Come on. Oh, Roy! No, yeah. you call me stupid for crying out loud. I'm gonna thank you for that. You're Give being me a break. it's because you're being stupid. That's all. Look, you keep calling me a name that is not mine. Listen, Roy. Time's up. Good luck on your next router repair call. I love Hope you. It works out I love you, you, Bernice. I doubt that. I do. I love you a lot. I doubt that, Roy. Don't call back again. Bernice. Mwah. Oh, my God. You Mwah. make me sick. I love sick. you, Bernice. Sick, sick, sick. That's, very, that's Bye, a very Roy. <laughs> weird reaction to be kissed. Bye, pissed. Roy. Good luck on your next repair. This is why you're Bye. still single, Bernice. Goodbye. All right, I love you. Goodbye. No, you don't. Please say it back. You're making but- it weird. You called me stupid. I, Man, you, <laughs> you got to work on this. Hey, you got to work on it. You got to go to tiger school. I wouldn't you know? call I you stupid if I didn't love you. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, Roy. All right, goodbye, Bernice. Tiger school is your next stop. Got it? What tiger school? Tiger school. Private school. Tiger. Tiger school. Tiger That's school. what you need. Okay. Yeah. Going to tiger school. All right. Oh, good. Good luck. All Hope right. you graduate. Rawr. All That's right. my tiger Bye. roar. Goodbye. Just hang up the phone. What the hell was that? I remember her telling me her name at the beginning. I just don't remember what it was. Now I got to look up Tiger School. Ooh, Tiger Martial Arts. It's all martial arts stores. What's she talking about? Did she give me some 1960s reference or something? Oh. Hi, Brad. Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm I'm with the... The technical support here with Verizon. Uh, we're working yeah. on we're working on your modem right now. Oh, and, um, okay. I, I hope I hope uh, I hope we're not interrupting your TV or anything. 
it might go blank just for a split second. Okay. And uh, you might see uh, some Russian programming on it while while we do our work. Okay, should I turn things down right now or what? Well, that's what I was calling about. Like I was trying to diagnose your modem, and I was listening in through the microphone in your modem uh, while I was diagnosing it, just trying to, you know, hear the problem. And your damn TV is so loud. Like I can just hear that. What do you mean our TV's? Well, it's, it's just really loud, and I, I'm listening to your entire house through the built-in microphone in, inside the modem. And I, it was oh. just the the piano that's just really getting on my nerves. Oh, okay. Hold on for a second. This is making me want to punch. I was punching my desk. Um, that, that's punching. that's actually a Sonos music system. Oh, okay. What are you listening to? Just my playlist on Sonos. I see. Okay. I thought that was the TV. No, 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 no. no okay. It's just so, my. Uh, so you, you don't turn it off. You don't have the TV on then. No. Okay, good. You won't see the uh, all the Russian programming coming up there for a split second while I make some changes to your lineup. Okay. To your channel lineup. All right. Are you peeing? Hmm. Are you peeing while I'm on the phone with you? No, I'm taking a drink of water. Oh, I heard like. Were you uh, getting the water, the glass of water from the sink? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. I sound like you're peeing. You don't have to be ashamed if you're no. peeing. No, 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 no. I would never do that. You'd never I pee? Think that's so rude. Don't you explode? No, I would never pee while I was on the phone with the technician, no. Not even if you hit the mute button first? Well, damn, I never even thought about that. It's okay if you just forgot to hit the mute button. I, I'm not judging you. No, I didn't forget to hit any mute button. I was just getting a drink of water. I was thirsty. Okay. All right, so what do you need me to do? Anything? Uh, can you go down into your... Can you go to your breaker box and just shut off all the switches? Um, hold on for a second. Okay. Um, let me uh, shut my computer down first. Oh, no, no. It'll be cool. Breaker box and go turn off all the switches. I think there's a master. Yeah, but you got to turn them all off at one at a time. Oh, okay. uh, other, otherwise uh, th th there'll be too too much uh, power draw all at once. Okay. Is it in the basement? Yes. Is the basement scary? No. Does it have a furnace with like all the arms, yes. all the arms sticking out, like in Home Alone? Yeah. Yeah, it's an unfinished basement. Does it have like um, the opening that glows fire? No. Oh no, no. Wait, it's a modern system the house. Was redone. You don't ever have to like when you go downstairs tell it to shut up. Hold on for a second. Because it's, it's scary. Um, uh, I gotta go. Well, where are you going? My husband's been, I'm going upstairs to the shower, my bathroom, because my husband. I'm taking a shower and I got to tell him what I'm about ready Oh to no, do. it'll be hilarious because the lights will go off while he's in the shower and he'll be like, oh, come on. Let's, he let's... won't think it's funny. Yeah, but let's do it. Come on. <laughs> it'll be funny. Uh, I don't think so. Jim? He'll be like, God damn it. Ryzen's on the phone. God damn it, They're Brad. To, uh, screw with uh, our uh, router. Well, hey, don't so they say need it like to that. Turn all the power off. Huh? What's that? Oh, tell him we're going to turn the water off, too, in the middle of his shower. What? Do they need the power off turned up to the whole house? Yeah, they want me to take each power thing and do it. Just, off just in case there's any time. stray electrons floating through the air. Okay. okay. Right. Tell him about the stray All electrons. Right, I'm going downstairs. Can you turn the water off first? Is, is the shower still running? No. Ah, shoot. No, he's out of He's out of the shower. Is he gonna be shaving or anything? Let's yeah. Me let's mess him up. Let's mess him up. Hold on. All right. Just be glad I didn't have to go all the way to the third floor. To the third floor. Third. Oh yeah. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can you so say turn everything? Yeah, do you see the numbers on the switches? Uh 
Well, I, I know which one's which. Oh, can you give each one a cute nickname as you turn each one off? Okay, main floor, south front parlor outlet. Wait, are you clicking them? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can you click it really loudly? Like, like, don't do it gen gentle. Like, you know, re really, you know, click it. Dishwasher. Um, old wire. North front porch. Can you sing? Third floor. Can you sing the titles? Third floor. Um, washer. Basement. Basement. Is it dark down there yet? No. Dryer. Don't make the furnace Fair mad. Don't make the furnace mad. Oh, I'm going to make it very mad. Dining room. Outlet. You're not singing anymore. Uh, no. Let's Just see. sing one. What this one there goes one. There goes one. Wait, if you don't know what they are, can you give them cute nicknames? Like this one. Right. Fluffy. The, Click. The kitchen island nook. Kitchen counter outlets. Kitchen counter outlets. You know I'm not with uh, Verizon for real, right? No. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a prank caller. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, I'm just a prank caller. Oh, for God's sakes! But, but can, all right, can you keep going? No. Come, come on. Get, can we play a prank together on Tim? No. Like we can think of something. Good. <laughs> oh my God! What the hell? How did I have to tell him that was a prank? That makes no sense at all. I'm asking for cute nicknames and for him to sing stuff. And why the hell was he even doing that? And I think that was the last... Oh, wait, no, I have another whole page of these from the dog list, I mean. But a few of them have Verizon email addresses, so I could just keep doing this modem thing if I want. I don't really have any great ideas on what to do with the modem thing. Maybe I'll ask him to stop ordering so much porn on the pay-per-view. Hi, Alan, Lisa, and Jennifer can't come to the phone right now. Leave a message, and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Alan, hello? It's it's Roy. It's your neighbor. Can you hear me? Hello? Pick up the phone. Alan, Joyce, hello? Hello? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, my gosh. Call me back when you can. Hello? Oh, hello, Alan. Yeah. Thank God you picked up. This is uh, Ver the Verizon tech support. Yep. Uh, sorry about that lie I told you on the machine. I'm not really your neighbor. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, at nighttime, you know, that's when we run our diagnostics on your modem. Aw, oh, come on. He hung up on me. I think it's about time to end this show. Let's see how many more are there. Oh, here's someone using Hotmail. I had a call from the Hotmail corporate office and be like, what the hell? You're the only customer we have left. Why are you still here? The 90s are over. Hello. Hi, Millie? No, this is Charlie. Oh, hey, Millie. Uh, this is the tech support from Verizon. Uh, I was calling about your modem. Hold on for a minute. Okay. Millie? Yeah? Tech support from Verizon about your modem. I know you don't want to pass that phone call, though. No, but I don't believe it. Hello? Hey, Millie. I heard you say you didn't believe I'm really with Verizon. Uh, I'm calling from tech support. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we do our diagnostics in the middle of the night. Yeah. And you two are snoring way too loud, and it's messing up the reports. Yeah. Do you think you can shut your door at night so we don't hear you snoring through the modem? What are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. We just, we can't handle this. Uh, you know, we, we can't really run the diagnostics properly if you're going to be snoring like that. If this is somebody who's playing a joke with me, I'm not in the fucking mood. So, come on, let's... I would not joke. And you don't need to use the fucking word around tech support. Well, That's... I'm telling you, the computer is not in the same room with me. 
I don't snore. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Ma'am, it's a condenser microphone, and it picks up pretty much the entire house at night while we're running the diagnostics. So just shut your damn bedroom door at night, okay? You know, I, I, this is some kind of scam because you're not really from Verizon. Why, why would you say that? <laughs> why would I say that? Because I get more scam phone calls than anybody you ever met in your entire life. And I've never talked to anybody who professed to work for Verizon who spoke English as her first language. Wow, that's a little bit racist, ma'am. <laughs> well, and, it's a fact. And you know what? You didn't even give me a chance. Like, before you even talked to me, you're like, I don't even believe that's Verizon. Well, that's absolutely true. And then that husband of yours was cracking jokes and stuff. You guys are bad people. I'm going to mark her down here in the records as having a problem with foreign people. Here, let me type that in. Holly? Who's this? Oh, I was calling for Holly. This is this is Roy from Technical Support with Verizon. Oh, hi, it's Chris. You got her husband. That was creepy. Like that you just day. picked up and you just sat there like a creep. Ugh. <laughs> yes? Um, we were running your modem diagnostics last night, uh, you know, on your modem. Yeah. And um, we're able to, you know, we're able to monitor through the modem, you know, just sounds and everything and snoring and breathing and stuff like that. Yeah. And we're afraid you're, I mean, it might be whoever else lives with you, maybe Holly, but we're afraid you're not getting enough protein. Who did you say you were again? Uh, this, is, this is Roy from Technical Support with Verizon. Yeah. And we're just worried about your protein levels. That's, a, that's all. Are you shitting me? No, and sir, sir, don't use the shitting word with me. I'm that's very unprofessional. I'm a technician. Your technical support with Verizon. Yes. And you're worrying about my protein. Well, you know, we, the the modem has AI and it's able to detect, you know, just like little nuances and stuff, and uh, we can see very clearly here that you're not getting enough protein. Okay. So, so what, what's the what would you like? Uh, what do you want, the solution would be to eat more protein. Just, you know, maybe peanut butter or steak or you know, meats. Uh -huh. Stuff that has protein in it. Okay. Because we want Is you to be it? healthy. Okay. We don't, want our, we don't want our customers dying, you know. Right. Yeah. So is that it? That's your message? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, I don't know if it's you or Holly. It's hard to tell with the, uh, the microphone, the built-in microphone in the modem. Uh, who's who sometimes, but one of you definitely is low on protein. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Why don't you fix it? Bye now. Instead of just saying it's good to know, why don't you do something about it? Make, okay. Make, some, make some lifestyle changes. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you, uh, not Holly. I love you. Bye now. All right, say it back, please. I love you. Sir? Oh. He's gone. Hello. You have reached Randy's dog training. Your call is important to us, so please do leave information as to how I might connect with you, including what time would be convenient for you. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Hello? Hello? Randy. Randy. Hello. Are you there? It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick I'm pick sorry. Up. Who is this? Oh, is this Randy? Yes. Hey, Randy. It's it's Roy, that your neighbor. Roy. Yeah, here on here on road, but you know down the block a little bit. Uh, eighteen oh one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just the name didn't ring a bell. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, I think I left my bucket in your backyard. Did you see my bucket in your backyard? Why were you in my backyard? Well, I was there late last night. You know, two or three or four in the morning, five six. I think you have a problem. Why were you in my backyard in oh, the middle of the night? No, it's, it's nothing weird, ma'am. I was just cleaning your tree, that's all. What are you talking about, cleaning my tree? Well, you know, I don't know who you are. The bark. No, I just do this for free for people in the neighborhood. You know, and I just, I, I usually, I, I've never forgo I, forgotten I think, my bucket before. I, I think you don't do this. I think you're joshing me. Why would I and josh I you, ma'am? I don't like it. There's no bucket in my backyard. Are you sure? Like, not even behind the tree? What tree? Uh, the, the big tree. I was, I was, I brought... I don't have any big trees. 
ma'am, you have a big enough tree for me to climb because I use my rope to get up there and clean on clean up the bark. You are absolutely wrong. Goodbye. I am not wrong. You're wrong. Wow, that lady actually used the word joshin. Like it's just the normal thing that people say. Who the fuck talks like that? Hey, Roy, it's Lardlord from Oregon. Hey. I want to give a gigantic shout out to Sin's Head for shit Brad says. I, w- I was finally able to be reunited with my Jeez. favorite uh, Confederate flag belt buckle. Get a room, you two. Or you, you scraped his car at belt level and he, he really didn't see anything. Did I actually say it was a Confederate flag uh, belt buckle? Anyways. Cause... Love you. That's Bye. hilarious. Thank you, Synthhead, for reuniting that guy with his possibly racist phone call by me. Hey, Brad. This is James from Michigan. I'm hey. just calling. I have a question about the rules of prank calling. In general, do you see the police getting involved more often if you're calling a business or business enterprise versus an individual? Uh, what seems to be kind of the breakdown of that? Uh, Thank you so much. Cactus, cactus. I don't know. I don't keep charts. But I would think that individuals would call the police more often because they're at home and they can just kind of let loose and scream at people and curse at us and all that. But at work, you got to be kind of semi-professional. So I'm just guessing that if you call someone at their home, they're more likely to call the police. But I'm probably wrong. Hi, Brad. This is none other than the teen wolfiest of the Jesuses. Hey. And I'm calling to tell you that I listened to the latest hobo episode number 336. Woo. Carol working at the mall this morning. That was one of the best hobo episodes maybe ever. Oh, I- yeah. See, I always forget in the intros. I'm like, yeah, you idiots. You missed the hobo episodes because you're not supporting the show. But I never can remember what's on the hobo episodes, and I'm too lazy to go check. I forgot all about that. Yeah, Carol was popping into phone lines at a bunch of stores in a mall this past week, and it was quite humorous. I love the cross lines idea, and... It would be awesome if you can find places like car dealerships or places like cell phone stores or furniture stores where you could pit salespeople up against one another, right? So if somebody's selling like yeah. a floor to one place, you, you jump in. And Let's start some actual violence between the two. You have like a fucking like Chevy dealer come in, a salesperson. You will get those people so fucking fired up and pissed off. So Maybe, I, maybe one of them will have a gun. And things will get really out of hand. I can see that personally. And hopefully, uh, the freeloaders can hear this too, because this would be a phenomenal uh, thing for the Snowplow Show. Bye. Well, you did it. You advertised to the Snowplow Show people. Thanks for that. Everyone, please subscribe right now so you can go hear Carol work at a mall and jump into everyone's phone lines with her husband's police scanner. Hey, Brad. Call me Texas calling in. Hey. I was just going to humbly suggest that the next time you do toilet flushing calls, if, like, when they tell you to not flush the toilet, just, like, flush it. And when they yell at you, just deny it and say, no, I didn't flush the toilet. And then they'll say, of course, Oh, okay. I heard you flush the toilet. And you'll yeah. say, no, you must have heard something I'll else. I'll deny and it. And you do it again. That's what I'll do. Okay. Just see how riled up you can get them. I'll try to remember that. I think it would be funny. Okay, bye. I know how much everyone loves the toilet flushing calls. Hello, Brad. It's Ryan, hey, Ryan. from Connecticut. Just oh, call to say hi. Look at this. I'm... Ryan leaving 32-second-long voicemails. It's like he doesn't even hear the rules when he calls in. What the hell? You know how you're doing and everything. I'm okay. Uh, just calling to say, uh, just calling to say I've been a $10 Patreon uh, member for about two years. Yeah. And I'm also trying to go over 30 seconds. So oh, I'm out for a walk, just having fun. You did it. In life. While I'm <laughs> stuck in here making prank calls, I see what you're saying. I'm going to go over 30 seconds. Ugh. Okay. You did it. Goodbye. Good job. I played all... Th- I should have cut it off after 30 seconds. I can't let these people win. Hey, Brad. You know who it is. I'm calling from Deborah's phone. Uh, I just listened to your prank call about the flaming darts from about eight years ago. Don't know how I hadn't heard it yet. That might have been one of the funniest things I've heard in my life, period. I mean, I, it's just, it is so amazing. Thanks. I was telling my coworkers about it, and I couldn't stop laughing, so they have no idea what the heck's going on. So, kind of kind of blame you for that, you too. So bring just, it into him and play it for him. Think I'm free. But, yeah, uh, funniest thing ever. Oh, my goodness. Made my, made my week. Golly. So, yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Bye. That guy just said golly, like it's normal or something. You know, I think I'm going to do a voicemail episode of some kind soon, somewhere. I just get further and further behind. I got to just give up. I should just delete them all. 
Nobody needs to hear all these, right? Brad, it's Death in Reality from what Colorado. I love you, you love me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hey, so I was listening to some old episodes. The Snowplow Show from September 7th, 2013, called Tight Boxes and Flux Capacitors. This yeah. whole episode is fantastic, well, I think by you... the way. But there is a call in there that I think you should play again at some point. Um, it is 53 minutes and 45 seconds into it. Okay. You call somebody and you say you worked on his car and you did some weed in there. You know what? I haven't put the show together yet. You know, I'm just recording right now. I still have to do all my editing. Then I have to put everything together. And I'm going to write that down, the episode and the timestamp. And I'm going to play whatever this is you're talking about. And if that wasn't funny earlier today on the show, everybody, it's all effing reality's fault. Because he's insisting that I play this old prank from 2013. And you start yelling at him uh, around 56 57 minutes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, you start slamming your fists on the ground <laughs> or on the desk and you start saying, Give Oh, me that's my- so weird. I was talking about slamming my fist on the desk today to some lady or something. Weed. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but it's so freaking funny, dude. Um, he tries to stay polite and you're just yelling and cursing at him and he, <laughs> he hangs in there for, I don't know, about five minutes. Do it. Wait, but- so you're saying he doesn't even react? Because that's what I like in prank calls when people react. Hey, I pay you money. I pay your salary. Whatever. Stop resisting. <laughs> I love you. I'm a sovereign citizen. You fill me up inside. Okay, bye. With love. Bye. And prank call. Bye. Ah, shit. I just deleted that email that told me where that prank call was. Now I got to write it down later when I'm editing. Hopefully I remember that time. Thanks a lot, F in reality. I remember about where it was, though. I think it was like 52 minutes in. Hi, Brad. Montana Jonah here. Just wanted to declare a record for every episode of the Snowplow Show listened to. I got through episodes one through the most recent one, uh, except for the one that this show is, or this voicemail is going to be on, of course. Uh, five months and three What about 404? Did you hear 404? I bet you didn't hear episode 404. Anyone beat that one? Why aren't you asking me about 404? That's weird. Oh, but I've gone through every Sorry. single episode, and I'm about to go through the hobo soap. Nice. And I'm sure you're thinking, wow, how could you not have been paying for hobo soaps the whole time? Well, I will start paying for them now and make a donation equal to the amount of months I've Oh, come on. So there you go. It's okay. So, Just do play, the $5. It's fine. Please play the, hang up, the, the phone hanging up sound effect in honor of me getting through all of them. That would be much okay, appreciated. Okay, uh, where's the so, hang up? I'll wait for that. It's right go ahead. Here. So, oh. Hang up on me. Hang it up. There, hanging it up for you. Hang it up right now. Hanging it up. I'm doing it. I hung it up a whole bunch. Congratulations on getting through all the episodes. And also, you gotta find the the pre Snowplow Show episodes, and then after the Hobo Sodes, you gotta listen to all the phone shows. There's about four years worth of those. Then there's some PLA radios you gotta get to. So don't think you're almost done yet. You're not almost done. Hey, boy. I'm calling to uh, demand an apology. In your last show, you're supposed to be Canadian. But at one point, you apologized and said sorry, and you didn't say sorry. And I don't know how they didn't figure it out. Like, sorry. Obviously not. Anyway, I need an apology. That's all. All right. Uh, have a good one, man. Sorry that I wasn't a perfect Canadian. You know, usually my accents are just spot on, but I guess I made a mistake. Excuse me. And I think I'm going to end it there, and I'm going to blame you. You've upset me. So the show's over. Thanks to the sponsors today. Sean L., Steve B., JT, Jamie F., and FOD87. Those are five of the people who got to hear Carol work at the mall this week. Don't you wish you could hear Carol work at the mall and you could listen to the other stores abuse her? Oh, wait a minute. I tweeted about that, didn't I? Here, let me look at the PLA Twitter here real quick. I got to play a teaser for Hobo Sods. Here it you is. You're calling Build a Bear, correct, sir? Well, yeah, that's what it says on, on this website. I, I clicked on Build a Bear yeah. and had your phone number on it, but. But this is and Dillard. the other this is... woman that is on the phone as well is Dillard. Oh, there's sorry. a woman in there inside of Dillard's on our phone line using a police scanner. So I reached Dillard's? You reached the Build-A-Bear, but there's a lady at Dillard's also on our phone line somehow. You reached the Superior Bear, bear, bear Company. You were yeah. calling Build-A-Bear. That's great. That's the promo for my show, Carol stumbling her lines. So listen to that, everyone. That was a fun episode. I sure enjoyed it.
do not want grass. Which word is not clear to you?